Hello, scrapper and scrap heads again. So, microwave. So, what do we got? Bunch of Phillips head screws. Got some of these uh, security bit screws that have a, you know, their star bit with a hole in the middle. That you need to uh, have a special tool for. Take them out. Well, I, I have some issues with the going out and buying a special bit to gently remove the screw. Let's go after the ones we can see. So you got some people that will literally open the whole machine up. I go ahead, I find out what side the control panel is on, which is on my left. Bottom, that's holding the uh, transformer. usually one on the side but that one I'm gonna already took it out if it was already gone. So now we're at the spot where oh no I have two security bits in the way. I must go get my special tool. Remember folks we're scrapping these. We want what's inside. We don't care what the outside looks. There you go. Here's my security bit tool. Guess what? Ah! It's removed. Happy, happy. And if that don't work, like this one here didn't want to break. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a video. Of course, nothing's going to want to work. So let me get the fan. Okay, I'm just going to snip wires right now, make it easy, make it quick and showable. Fan off of there. Okay, so on the fan we have the fan, we got some nice top right there, we have a copper donut right there. So I go ahead and I take it apart right then and there. Take it apart right then and there. I'll deal with the donut later. Take it off, take the donut off. Throw that little board in low grade. It's a fan. Little brass fittings right there. Connectors. Take it off. See, because we already dropped the screws on the transformer, we can just go ahead and cut them out. The snips want to work. So, now the thing is, transformer is heavy, but is it aluminum, coils, I mean wraps, or is it copper, or is it 50-50? I just take the drill, the Phillips head screwdriver, and use it like a drill. And right then and there, we know that the upper part is aluminum. The bottom part... Is also aluminum. So, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead, pull off the clips, swap them out later in my bucket, and I'm going to put this off to the side and I'll turn those in as aluminum tran transformers and I'll get weight for that. Get out of the way. Got a good cord on it, so I'll probably uh, peel this one out, strip that one. And then we got what's left inside. Now this one here, uh, 
Yeah, evidently had a lot of little friends in it that are now dead. Uh, so you gotta be careful. That's the first thing I checked when I was when I picked it up. If it had any friends. And these guys were all dead. So these little friends didn't make it very far. They were already dead. Well, that's a good thing. I don't want to bring these friends home. My wife would kill me. So, power board out. Set the wires. Plugs. We said right now I'm just stripping stuff so I can make a pile for the scrap yard. Now these wires here are tin coated copper, so these will go in your low grade wire. And then on here we got got some silver connections in here. Got the plug. Not much actually, so I'll probably end up. Yeah, you know, I'll figure it out later. Not gonna do much with it. Capacitor I leave in, I don't take the capacitor out. Take off the wires. I know some people open the whole thing right up. I don't want to open the whole thing right up, I don't need to. This is all I'm after. It's right here in the end. Now it's usually a turntable motor on the bottom, so I'll go after that in a minute. Right now I'm just pulling out the switches. Show me in a sec. It's usually anywhere from two to three, usually there's three. So on these switches right here, it's a switch. You can get it to open up. Usually they open up pretty easy. And of course, you know, like I said, we're on a video. As always, we're on a video, it's not going to work. All right, here's one. This one already started coming apart. So let's just go ahead and pop it off. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Inside here, we have some silver connections. They're small. Okay, they're not very big at all, but they do add up. And, uh, yeah, deal with them later. So, I, uh, I keep all that. Deal with them later. I get a five-gallon bucket full that's getting bigger and bigger. I get a process and Cut off the fusible link, I throw that in shred. Cut off all the ends while I got the wire here. Get it done, get it out of the way. Throw the connections in my bucket, deal with it later. So I do a lot of processing now and then later on I'll take care of the other stuff. Throw that wire in number two. Now some people go after the magnetron, okay, because I don't know, you got beryllium in there, and I really don't want to mess with it anymore. Uh, I was told about it by a buddy of mine, and he goes, don't do those anymore. So, I just snap that cover off, and we got a couple of uh, foils of copper right here with a little bit of ferrite in them. And there we go. Got some copper right there. Sometimes if you cleaned it up good. Get number one a bit bright for that. Throw that in the bucket. Now like I said, you know, we got a little bit more wire here from when I cut the cord. Set that off. Cut off the connector, throw that. And then uh like I said get that little the little motor on the in, on the outside on the inside here yeah, for the turntable. Take it 
take a screwdriver from most of the plate. That plate opens right up. Usually held on by one screw. And there you got yourself a little copper motor. They add up. Roman bucket. Roman copper motor bucket. Over there, this over there, that over there, bend that. And I'll just go ahead and put any of the plastic, throw it back inside. Sometimes I get lucky if I didn't smash it too, too bad. There we go. Maybe? Yeah? I think so. Grab one of the screws I took out. Look, oh, not that one. Not that, not that. There we go. A nice long one here. Slides back together. And we're done. So, there's a quick two on, uh, on a microwave. And like I said, everyone does it differently. That's how I do it. I want to get in, get them done, get it out, get the stuff that I want out of it, and then deal with the rest of it later. Get in, get it done, get out. Quick and easy, because if you're not going quick, you're not making money. That's the whole key. Make the money that other people throw away. Now, this will go into shred. I will have no hard feelings that I threw something away that, you know, could have gone through recycle. Oh, get to cut myself. Uh, so, scrapper, scrapettes, please like, subscribe, hit that bell, share me out. Share me out. And until the next time, thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Please, let's leave it better than we found it. And let's stay safe, folks. Later.